Seattle firefighters are facing new dangers on the streets. There are incidents where they feel threatened. We're learning about drastic measures the department is taking to protect their own and the people they serve. We're trying to teach this generation how to be safe. Tonight we reveal a major policy change that's designed to protect firefighters and patients. The Seattle Fire Department says teams of six or more will now respond to emergency calls in parts of the city where homeless shelters are located. Eric, here in downtown Seattle, it's not just about putting out fires and saving lives. It's about doing the job and making sure you're not hospitalized yourself. They've got their head on a swivel looking around. Seattle's homeless crisis has brought a new and potentially dangerous element to the job for firefighters. The call volume's gone up. The days could consist of 30 aid calls, ranging from medical emergencies in homes, RVs, shelters, and encampments. Places where they say they've been threatened, even assaulted. It's a different world. Our volume is so high. Starting next week, some units will wear bulletproof vests as a safety precaution. It's a change brought on by recent assaults, threats, and harassment in certain at-risk areas. As the homeless crisis has grown, so have the dangers for Seattle firefighters. Assaults, their gear being swiped while they're working on patients, even being swarmed by angry crowds. Starting next week, firefighters will be assigned bulletproof vests. It's a tough situation with our equipment. In May, the department started requiring at least six firefighters to respond to sections of Pioneer Square. In the past, only two or four responded. The change came after a firefighter says he was slapped outside the Union Gospel Mission while treating a patient next week. The department hasn't said how much the vest will cost. Mayor Jenny Durkin says she supports firefighters' work. It was, and some of it was mentioned tonight, intensity of the development. Really. This is one of the least intense development types that we'll, we will have anywhere in the city that is in a major mixed-use area. Up to 100 people in a building, they won't be going and coming other than a few of them will be going and coming during the day. How many people go and come to a McDonald's every day? How many people go and come to a say Starbucks every day. How many people go and come from a large office complex that is in there? The intensity of the development is significantly less than most. And we don't buffer McDonald's and gas stations.